Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I got my sample prints from Miller's Labs. I had read on forums and they had a very good recommendations. The only problem is that they only cater to pros, so I wasn't sure if they were going to accept me or not. But I sent them some samples and also my website, and they checked it out, and I got the okay. And I got some some sample pics, some sample pics printed out by them. This this is actually my first time actually printing professional. I had done it a long time ago with the point and shoot, but I I just got the pictures in JPEG. I didn't edit them, nothing. Just just send them out to like Walmart and Shutterfly, I think. But yeah, that was way funny anything about photography. So this one, so this time I did um I captured in my monitor. I exported them the files how how they wanted them. I I sharpened it for prints and everything and everything like that. So anyways, here's how it comes. Come with a nice kit. It came pretty fast. They shipped it all overnight on FedEx. Which is a huge plus for Millers. The first thing you see, they send you a little a swab or. I'm not sure the correct term. I think it's swab of all the uh, of all the paper sample they offer. I really like this one, the Fuji Pro. It kind of looks like a uh, uh, luminized prints. If you've ever seen those prints, those those metal prints, that's probably the one I'm going to be using for my landscapes. Because I've gotten a lot of a lot of requests for my landscapes. But anyways, here's how it comes. First, you get a, a pricing catalog. It lists everything they have, and they have quite a good few selection or everything I'd, I'd ever need. And here onto the pictures. Now, the, the first time when you send them pictures, they're gonna ask you for four samples, and first they'll print it out exactly how you use. Send the picture in, and this actually almost, I think, like dead on where it looks like I'm a monitor, so I was really happy about that. And then they have one version where they color uh, adjust it. On this one, I, I don't really see any difference in the color. All I could tell is that they changed the white balance, but actually, I prefer my version better. So let's move on to to another one. Now this is a picture of the beach of some waves. This is how I sent it in. What I did on this picture, I kind of washed out the blacks to you can give it a, a vintage feel. This is exactly how it looked like on my monitor, so I'm really happy about that. And this is how they color adjusted it. I really didn't like this one. It kind of it has like a a slightly different hue. I'm not sure if you can turn the video and just slightly. I like again. I like my version better. Then here's one with the person. Now th this actually wasn't a very good picture to start off with because I use like my worst lens. I don't even have it anymore. But here's how 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 I sent the picture in, and this is how they uh, adjusted it. I actually line, I like mine a whole lot better. There's uh, a lot more. There's more saturation and it's a little bit more contrasty. Also, it's sharper when the color adjusted it. it, it it not sharpened it a bit. I'm not sure why. It wasn't really a sharp image to start off with, so and sharpening more made it worse. But anyways, again, I like mine better. And here is the last one. This was a black and white. On this one, since there's no color, you might wonder what they did to to adjust it. Well, here's my picture. It's just how it was on my monitor. I'm really happy about that. And here's how the one they adjusted you can barely see any difference the only thing what they did they bumped up the contrast a slight bit in the shadows you can see them but it's just really hard to tell they almost look identical but seeing them in person I could tell that there's a little bit more contrasty I actually like that but it's something I could do without color adjustments just up the contrast a little bit so, so yeah from the prints they were printed off on on Fuji color by Fujifilm, which I think is their cheapest paper. It's actually really good. These are the glossy prints, and I really like them. The thing I really liked was that <laughs> my version, the as this ones I sent, were better than the color adjustments, which is cool because um they charge you a bit extra to adjust your uh, 
colors so that means if you could do a good job you'll save quite a few I think it's like 20 to to 30 percent per picture so that's pretty cool so I just have to, I have to try out two more laps I want to try out Adorama and then some other one I forgot what it's called but right now Miller gets a complete thumbs up from me I'm really happy with the samples they sent me I, I just I want to order some in some some different papers to offer such as the Fuji Pro it looks really beautiful I also want to order some of their matte prints because they look really nice but yeah if you're a pro or you're making the steps from amateur to pro I really recommend them if you're not a pro if you're an amateur they actually have a different company I forgot what it's called but I'll have the link down b b below t t to their to other to their other company so any questions or comments please leave them down below thanks